There's just something about a playground. The childhood memories of challenge and exploration. Here in Somerset, it's about the slide, the red slide. Not this one, the big one. Construction nearly complete on a 30 foot high, 70 foot long, totally tubular experience in Somerset. This is an iconic structure in town, what we're known for. We've even changed the logo for our recreation department, Somerset Recreation, home of the big red slide. So if it didn't go through, I'd have to go out and get all kinds of new shirts and stuff and a new logo. Barry Fontaine, Somerset's director of recreation, says this new red slide project is designed to replace what stood here in Pierce Beach Park for nearly 30 years, a gift from a group in Canada a fiberglass slide built in 1988. People will tell you stories all the time about when they were a kid, when they first remember going down the slide. The town hopes with this newer version and some slight upgrades. It's stainless steel. It will outlast its predecessor. Now three years in the making, bringing this retro recreation piece to new life has some excited slide fans getting ahead of production. We had a lady who came last week. They drove during school vacation week for an, about an hour away and they said they felt like they were going to the Wally World with Chevy Chase and they get there and all of a sudden it's not pretty. So what is it about a slide, a big red one, that would inspire a town to incorporate it into a department logo? When adults come to a playground and no one's looking, they get on that swing, or they get on that little balance beam, or they get on a spring toy, and they, they, it, it kind of reverts back to when they were a kid. And construction is complete. Slide is open to the public now. That is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Anthony Everett. And I'm Shana Seymour. Have a great evening. We hope to see you back here tomorrow night. Good night, everyone.